This was a widely well-respected and reviewed movie, uh, getting 95% uh, approval on Rotten Tomatoes and winning eight Oscars in 1984 uh, when it came out, including Best Picture. Um, to start with, I will have to acknowledge that the Foley, uh, the, the score itself, and especially the performance of Salieri, who did win uh, Best Actor that year in 1984 as well, were just superb. Um, really, really good as well as the, uh, the costuming, um, although not entirely period appropriate and lacking some level of wear that would be consistent with, uh, a more realistic and gritty style of film that I personally prefer was also extremely elaborate and well thought out. And I, I can't even imagine the amount of time and effort that must have gone into uh, creating such a varied and colorful and really vibrant um, overall perspective for the film. However, uh, for me, I did feel that um, the performance of the principal uh, who was playing Amadeus was lacking in a sense of gravitas that really um, would have been compelling for me to see that level of genius expressed. And um, one seemingly minor element, but really something that bothered me, was the way that he laughed. Uh, as, as anyone who has seen this movie will know, is just um, bizarre, really, very very high-pitched and off-putting and strange. Uh, also, historically, uh, one of the key elements of the film, which is um, the sort of chastity of Salieri uh, as he, he throws uh, you know, it away in uh, an appeal to God to have some sort of mastery and a skill to be able to communicate this, this uh, music that he feels in his heart, um, is, is overstated. Uh, the uh, the young woman who he is uh, mentoring, uh, more or less, who is a singer in the film, actually was his concubine in, in real life. Uh, and I would have been uh, very interested to see that choice made in the presentation of this film, as it would have added a little bit more depth to an already really great character in Salieri. Um, some of the casting choices, again, were were a little bit odd, uh, as as Mozart himself was only best known from, uh, I believe, Animal House before this. So you have to wonder what exactly it was they were thinking. Uh, some of the makeup was a bit of an issue for me. The aging um, was not uh, believable to me on screen, as well as the use of blood in the initial scene was just uh, clearly a wrong viscosity. And there are certain details like that that, that are not, um, not good for me, uh, but at the time the state of the art was was pretty was pretty good uh, as far as that aging technique and, and most of the effects that they used. Um, coming up towards towards the end here, uh, the final requiem. I really did did enjoy uh, the way that they presented that and having having Salieri wear the mask of of Mozart's departed father. And um, and come to that door in the way that he did was really one of the stronger moments for uh, the character of Amadeus. Um, the way that he reacted to that, and then the transition uh, after that from being so vibrant to to really death. Uh, and so, as Salieri said, I say to this film, I forgive you for your mediocrity. This truly was the bastion of that.